EA Sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Conor McGregor and Justin Gaethje. Bulletproof matchmaking here. Conor McGregor and Justin Gaethje are finally underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here? We're going to see a train wreck. Conor always comes forward. Gaethje always comes forward. Who's going to be the guy that takes the first step back? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And he connects with a punch there. With oh! The beautiful diving strike lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Just misses there with the left. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the belt. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Nice punch by Gaethje. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Back to the feet. As he gets close, and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. I'll just follow this one. Just over two minutes to go. Combination landed by McGregor. Nice stick with the right hand. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. A beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so a nice shot there defensively. To wow! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. What a round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. 
You see the hands, the speed, how strong. Round two now is upon us. Conor McGregor versus Justin Gaethje. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he blocks. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Oh, he hurt him. Oh, he might be out. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official.